level 70. <laughs> and we got all made fun. Look at that, I'm just murdering this dude. <laughs> Hey, what up Z-Clan and everybody else, how you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Diablo 4 video. In this video, we're going to talk about the Nightmare Dungeons, uh, how to get access to the Nightmare Dungeons, how to get your first sigil, uh, how to get your sigil powder, how do you craft your sigils, and uh, if you have a good build, what you should not do so you don't waste your time doing unneeded actions. So let's not waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's begin on how to unlock your Nightmare Dungeons. Well, first of all, you will need to fully complete the campaign, right? And then you will need to switch to World Tier 3. So, once you've completed all your campaigns, you will have a priority quest. Uh, well, a priority quest that you will need to do a dungeon somewhere over here, I guess. Once you complete that dungeon, it will unlock World Tier 3. Then you come to the statue and you enable uh, Nightmare Difficulty. So, once you've enabled Nightmare Difficulty, you will need to obtain your first sigil. Alright, so the way I've obtained my first sigil is actually through the Helltides. Helltides is uh, this area right here. Uh, so, time to time, you get an area infested with demons and stuff like that. So, you go into this Helltide and you start killing things. I think I got my first sigil from killing an elite or even maybe even a boss in Helltide. And also, I've noticed that I've been uh, getting those sigil powder, and sigil powder is a resource that you need in order to craft sigils. But anyway, uh, this is the first method that you can do in order to have a chance of getting your first sigil. Your other method is to unlock the Tree of Whispers. Uh, once again, you will be introduced to the Tree of Whispers. You will need to do one of the priority priority quests. It's that gray kind of cross whatever. So. You will not miss it, I guarantee you. So you do the uh, the Tree of Whispers, so then you get your first cache, you open it, and you have a chance of getting Sigil. So, and as soon as you've gotten your Sigil, right, one of these, uh, all you gotta do is just use it. I'll show you how to use it a little bit later on. And uh, voila, you got the Nightmare Dungeon run. Alright, so how you can get your sigil powder. So sigil powder is a resource that you will need in order to craft sigils. To craft sig uh, sigils, you will need your occultist. So when you go to your occultist, you will need to navigate over, gear, over here, craft sigils. And uh, since I am still on world tier 3, uh, this is the top level I can do, which I'm actually going to do through this video. Uh, what I did, I have beat my last one was tier 11, but I'm going to go ahead and jump to 16 or 20 or whatever straight off the bat and see how that goes. That's because it covers another topic why you should not waste your time doing low level tier sigils if your build is good. But anyway, so once you got your sigil powder, uh, you can create create your own sigils right uh, and of course the higher the tier the more sigils you will need <laughs> all right so how to get them well first of all you can uh, dismantle or whatever your like weak sigils like tier 2 get rid of it you see I got one get rid of this one get rid of this one I got two for that get rid of tier 3 get rid of tier 5 get rid of tier 6 get rid of tier 8 get rid of tier 8 and I would prefer to keep two seagulls on a th or three seagulls on me just in case uh, you know so I don't have to waste my components and stuff like that so this is one way how you can get seagulls uh, seagull powder excuse me the other one I believe the tree of whispers also give you I'm not quite sure but I believe it also gives you and I have also noticed that sometimes I think I'm not quite sure so these two ones, I'm not sure, but you can get them in hell type. But what I'm sure about is dismantling sigils and while you're inside the nightmare dungeon and if you stumble across like a random event, like a chest, you open it and it starts a wave, make sure to do it. Or if you've met an adventurer who's crying for help, help him. Uh, in this case, uh, once you complete and you master it, you'll get a chest which also gives a uh, I, d I saw that yesterday, so it also gives you uh, sigil powder, so voila. Uh, this is what I know of so far. Alright, now that uh, I've shown you how to get your sigil powder, uh, let's go ahead and craft tier 16 to 20. Let's see what we're going to get. I will do one. Boom. So, let's see what we got, and I'm also going to use it. 
straight off the bat. So we got a level 17 tier. <laughs> now, you can also read the dungeon affixes. Uh, control impelled explosions. So basically, over there you can see everything that's going to be happening within uh, the dungeon itself. All the benefits and no bene and bad benefits that you can get while doing this nightmare dungeon. Now, in order to activate it, you just simply use it. Are you sure you want to use it? Yes. And once you've used it, right, it will make one of the, the dungeon, uh, this one right here, a uh, nightmare. Now all you gotta do is get to it. Woohoo! I got to my uh, nightmare dungeon. What was it? Tier 17? Oh man, I hope I'm not gonna die. I get out of here. I'm making a big deal, man. <laughs> Alright, so another topic that I wanted to touch is. Let's get somewhere where it's quiet, okay? So, uh, do not waste your time on low level tiers. So, you might gonna stumble across or get a lot of sigils uh, with your pretty much good build, right? Uh, but the thing is, the lower tier dungeons, they give less XP, le lower types of rewards, and in the end, they give... Uh, if it's tier 1 for example, it gives you like plus 4 XP to your uh, glyphs, these glyphs right here, right? Uh, now, for example, this one I, I, oh wait, no, not this one, uh, switch. This one I already leveled up to level 6, and this one is level 1. So I think you need like 5 XP in order to level it up, I'm, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember, but I'll show you at the end uh, how much XP will... Uh, tier 17 give us for, to upgrade these glyphs because that's the main focus that's what you need you need to upgrade these things these things make your build even more super crazy not counting the XP that you're getting and not counting the loot that you can get while doing so and of course do not forget uh, once you're in the dungeon to use uh, a, a potion <laughs> that will boost your XP I just will use whatever oh wait maybe I have something good Increase dodge. There you go. Let's use the dodge thing. And now let's hope I'm not gonna die. So basically, the benefit is XP, loot, and upgrading your. Uh, what are those things called? Glyphs. Glyphs. Oh yeah, man. I feel the difficulty. I can't even kill this stupid goblin. I'm like. <laughs> Come on, die, goblin. I need more time. Vulnerable. Yeah, he froze. Die, kill him. Kill him. Ah, I'm gonna get killed. Oh, kill this goblin! That would be cool if he gives me some good now. What's up? That's what's up. <laughs> oh my god, Lo! I just noticed they're all level 7. <laughs> oh bro, I just noticed they're all level 70. I'm getting pretty decent XP as well. Not bad. Alright. I just love my build, man. Look at this baby. Soon I'm gonna make an update video on my build as well, so stay put for that. Just simply kills that red dragon. By the way, while you're doing the dungeon, you also have a high chance of getting uh, sigils. So I just got one, and since it's tier 17, I got a tier 18 sigil. Yeah, <laughs> nice, plus one. And usually when you kill the boss, you also get a sigil, so. Boom. And boss time. Level 70. <laughs> and we got all my fun. Look at that, I'm just murdering this dude. <laughs> yep, I was right that I should have increased my dungeon I need more sooner. Ooh. I just love my new build, man. Adios. And see, I told you. Also get a signal once you kill the boss. I did the Nightmare Dungeons maybe like maybe 15 times so far. And all the time I got myself my... Uh, my signal by killing the boss. Alright, so once you kill, you get this bubble and then you only need to interact with the Glyph Stone. So once you interact with the Glyph Stone, you can see how much XP is available. So for tier 17, it's 36, man. 36 XP. 
Now, tier 1 gives you 4. Now, imagine how many tier 1 nightmare dungeons you need to do in order to get 36, right? So, if I wanted to, I could find that other glyph that I'm planning to use and just boost. Ah, wait, you need 8 XP. So, you need to do 2 tier 1s in order to level up to level 2. Ain't that crazy. Anyway, I'll keep upgrading this guy for now because that's what I need. Are you serious? Just 1 XP, man! <laughs> Cockroach! But you get the point, right? Alright, so I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, you know the drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them, so do have that in mind. And uh, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to ZClan, I'm Gamer Zsol from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine, maybe if you found this video useful, you know someone who might find it useful too, share it with him. <laughs> Alright folks, uh, I'll see you all later, bye.